Okay, some time passed since my last epic failure here, so some of the big fish have come back here. Since then, of course, as you probably guessed, I'm not showing everything, because that would just take forever and it would be boring on top of that. If, if one of them could bite, that would be great. Come on! Bite! Please! Just put an end to my misery, please! Yeah, as you can tell, really, don't, really, really don't like this place. Uh, let's try again. Good fucking lord. This is the part I hate the most about this game. And by the way, if you're if you think I'm gonna be covering the sinking lore and the Hylian Loach, you got another thing coming. Oh no, not again. Not again. Not again. Please, not again. Yes, again. Ah, uh, is it running away? I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm watching the other big fish, and it looks like it wasn't sure if it should go or not, but it decided to go. Apparently, seven pounds. For the love of little green apples! Okay, there's still one that stayed over there, so I'm gonna try getting that one. If I can just. Get it to Bart! I'm really losing my patience at this point. Sorry if my commentary is not the best it's ever been. It's just that I just fucking want to punch the screen! Because that thing just won't bite. It's like, it's like they're smarter the bigger they are. Which they probably are because you see how quickly the small one... There we go! There we go! I was about to say something about how the small ones always bite really easy, as evidenced by that attempt that ended up in three big fish running away. Come on! Get over here! This one's big. This one's pretty big. Think... Think it might be enough to get the golden scale, which is why I'm coming here. Sorry if I didn't mention that. Golden scale is the upgrade to the silver scale I got in Zora's Domain as a kid. Allows me to dive even deeper, but for that, there we go! Wow, that is a big one! Hey! <laughs> 13 pounds! New record! Alright! So, I'm gonna keep it, of course. And, let's see there. I'm gonna go talk to the guy over there to weigh my fish, even though he already knows its weight. Just by me holding it in my hand, whatever. Anyway, not gonna question Nintendo logic. 13 pounds, here's your prize. And there we go! Golden score. Ah! Are you kidding me, game? Really? You're gonna do this to me? You're going to make me suffer even more for that stupid scale? God damn you, game! For fuck's sake! The, 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 the sun is setting now, and I still haven't gotten that stupid scale. At least the good news is that whenever the sun rises or sets, uh, as I noticed, there we go. The, the fish tend to bite a bit more, so it's easier to get big fish at this kind of time of the day. And this one's big. Is it going to be big enough to be bigger than 13 pounds? I don't know. But this one is... Resisting a lot more, so that's a good sign. And by the way, wooden fishing rods shouldn't bend that much. How that thing hasn't snapped yet is beyond me. Either that or, or it's not a wooden fishing rod, it just looks like it, but this is Zelda. They don't have modern fishing rod and all that stuff, so it's probably made of wood. Okay, come on. Back here. No! Stop flopping all over the place! Please! Just let my misery be over already! No, no! Oh man, no! It's going all the way back to where the wooden poles are. Okay, so... I think I got that situation under control. Come on. Please! At, at least... So sometimes the game is just gonna give up on its own and uh, 
say, Oh, you lost it! Thank God that hasn't happened. And it's all the way back to the poles again. Come on! Please! Get over here! This is just ridiculous. At least this guy's gotta be bigger than 13 pounds. Gotta be! Back here? Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it this time! I think I, I think I, Yeah! And wow! That one's massive! Weighs 16 pounds! Alright! So... Okay. If this... Shut up, Nabby! God damn that fairy. So, as I was about to say, if this one doesn't give me the golden scale, I think I might just rage quit. I don't care that part's only, what, six, seven minutes long. I'm gonna rage quit if this doesn't give me the golden scale. There we go! About fucking time! And as I said, didn't show you everything. And by the way, that, that red rupee at least came in handy and paid the fees for uh, the, uh, just going in there. And there. So now that we got the golden scale, there are a few things that we can do with it. First one is very close by. It's inside uh, that lab over there. I don't think I've ever gone inside the lab so far in this LP, have I? don't think I ever needed to. Anyway, now we're going to need to because our next piece of heart is right over there. As you can see, there's a pool of water, so you got to try and dive all the way at the bottom, only possible with the golden scale, and no, don't pick up those those red rupees. would be a shame if they went to waste while my, while my wallet was full. Anyway, you heard that little sound uh, when I was down there. That means you made it all the way to the bottom. And, uh, yeah, creepy. You touched the bottom. Well, I, I already touched rock bottom a few times at the fishing hole, but, you know, thanks for noticing. Next piece of heart is in the upper left corner of Hyrule Field here. There's a lone tree. You want to put a bomb right uh, under it, and it opens a hole. And down there, there's yet another body of water. I'm just going to lure the Tektite over here to kill it so that it doesn't cause trouble for me later on. By the way, you can do this with uh, either the Golden Scale or the Iron Boots, as opposed to what I did in the, in the lab in Lake Hylia, where you could only do this with the, with the Golden Scale. So, uh, this is sort of tricky with the Golden Scale, actually. You need to be in just the perfect spot. Sometimes I just wait to have the iron boots to do it, but just want to show you that it's, that it's possible with the golden scale. There we go! So, yet another hard piece collected. So, now that I've done everything that I could do so far in Western Hyrule, I'm just going to cut ahead, and I'll see you guys in Kakariko Village! Okay, now I'm sure that I have over 50 gold sculptulas, so I'm gonna go get the second to last reward for this side quest. I think, uh, yeah, I had to talk to this guy. It, it, it gets a little trickier to figure out who to talk to when they've all been uncursed except for the father. Anyway, peace of heart. Second to last reward. The last one requires all 100. So that means we're still missing 40 some of them. Are we having fun yet? Well, we're just about to get started on that. Um, next gold sculptula, you're gonna be surprised to hear where it is. Eh, I'm not gonna bullshit you, it's in the Dongo's Cavern. That's right, we're heading back in there again, despite being adult Link. Just so you know, uh, the Dongo's Cavern is the only child Link dungeon that you can get into as a Link because the Deku tree has been closed down and Jabu Jabu isn't there anymore. So that only leaves the Dongo's Cavern to hide the gold skull chilla in. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but everything seems a lot smaller because I'm bigger. Well, it's only because I'm bigger, everything's not actually smaller. And I was sort of hoping I wouldn't have to wait for this pillar to go all the way back down, but oh well, as long as I don't have the Beemos trying to fire its lasers, 
uh, all the freaking time while I'm waiting. Well, that's that game, I guess. So what do you want to do? You want to get head past that Beemos and go in this room. This is the one with all the Dodongo larvas. So you're just gonna want to kill them all so that they don't, so that they don't pose a threat while you're busy playing the ocarina. And yeah, as you can see, Navi's going over there. So this is our cue to play the Scarecrow song. And if I did it right, which I apparently didn't, please work this time because I'm gonna freak out if it doesn't. Because I think you absolutely need the Scarecrow's song to get up there. There we go. So pull out the hook shot, grapple onto Pierre, and there's a skull chiller right there. This is easily one of the most far-flung Skullchillas in the entire game. I mean, who would think to look in Dodongo's cavern without game facts or something like that? This, this is really a guy dang it moment, if you ask me. Some of those Skullchillas, I wonder how you're meant to get all 100 without game facts. Anyway, this little platform here... It's actually a much bigger shortcut than, than I previously showed. It goes all the way up here. Now, what you want to do? You want to put you want to put up your shield as much as possible because guess what? The volcano is still erupting, even though you can't do the turtle shield thing anymore as an adult. So what you have to do, you just have to run for it with your shield up so that you don't take well, I wouldn't say any damage but so that you don't take too much damage. Okay, so I made it all the way over here and the rocks stop falling, so... Okay, I think it's safe now so I can just lock on to... Oh! Where did you come from?! Seriously, where did that thing come from? It wasn't on the path with the eruption, it was... I don't know where that guy came from, but... That was a cheap ambush. Thankfully, it was just a red tick tight and not something that's actually threatening. And can I get the other one from here? Yeah. So, here we go. So, I would really, really like uh, to talk to Biggeron and have it entirely done before this video is over. No, don't go back down. Go right. Thank you. And since we have, I think, just over two minutes left, I think this is going to be doable. So, this is Biggeron, guys. Really lives up to his name because, well, if you can't see why, then there is no hope for you and we're doomed as a species. Anyway, uh, if you show him the broken Biggeron sword, he's going to tell you that um, there was an eruption yesterday... Uh, which made his eyes irritated, so we're gonna need to go get some eye drops for them. Yeah, way to go, game! Tease us with the bigger on sword, it's broken. Tease us with the guy who can repair the bigger on sword. He needs freaking eye drops. Okay, so we actually have a bit of time left, so I can take care of Zora's River right now. Uh, for the time being, there are only two gold sculptures that we can get in this place. So I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. You want to take that magic bean here and ride it to the sledge here. There's an entrance, a hidden entrance to a fairy fountain. I, and I think this hole has some Deku scrubs inside. So that sculpture is over there. You want to smoosh it with the hook shot as usual. And... Please, thank you. Okay. Wonder why it's retracted almost instantly, but oh well. So now that this is done, we need to go further upriver for the second one. I, I'm gonna try not to fall in the river because I'm gonna be carried all the way back to the beginning, and I would love to avoid that because I really don't have much time left to get that last, that last gold sculpture. So. Uh, there's supposed to be a bridge here. There we go, and just past that bridge, there's that little fence here. You need to climb on that fence if you don't have the long shot yet, if you want to get that gold sculpture right now. So, do the usual thing. And that's going to be all for today. So next time, we're going to head into Zora's Domain and hopefully get those eye drops. Don't bet the farm, though!